3D. This is a diagram which is created. So uh, it actually supports, RDD supports two kinds of operations, transformation and actions. Transformations, as we just mentioned that we can use like map, filter and all, where it will create a new RDD and it's logged. But it, it's not, uh, it is not, uh, uh, any action is not created yet unless we call any action on it. Action can be like a collect or count, which are actually the terminal operations. And after that, all the previous operations will be done and the result will be sent back to the, to the, to the driver node or to, to, or to the driver program. Let's go into details that what is a transformation. So Spark RDD transformation is a function that produces new RDD from the existing RDDs. The transformer takes RDD as input and produces one or more RDD as output. Transformations are lazy in nature. That is, they get executed only when we call an action. So as we already discussed that, like for example, this map and filter, these are only producing a new. My mapping is that it will take another uh, format of uh, input and then it will create a new one. Filtering will just filter out some of the RDD and it will create a new RDD based on the filter. So these type of operations are only producing new RDD, but it will be only be executed only when we have got an action at the end. And okay, so we can divide transformations into two types as below. One is a narrow transformation and then one is a, another one is a wider transformation. We apply narrow transformations onto a single partition of the parent RDD to generate a new RDD as data required to process the RDD is available on a single partition of the parent RDD. Which, so, because as you know that the nodes are like partitioned uh, across several uh, worker nodes. Now, the narrow transformations like map, filter, flat map, partition, map partitions, all these things, all these uh, like transformations that can be applied to a single partition of the RDD. It doesn't have to be like a wide uh, uh, application, wide operation that it should, that it will require uh, the, the partitions from various other worker nodes. The same partition on a same worker node can be done on it. And then the, after that, the result can be accumulated. So the second type of transformation is wide transformations as we're talking. We apply the wide transformations on multiple partitions to generate a new RDD. The, because the operation is like such that it ha, it has to be uh, taken account of taking multiple partitions data to generate a new RDD. The data required to process the RDD is available on the multiple partitions of the parent ID. The examples of for write uh, for write transfers are reduced by an union. As the name says that right, the union for example, it will take the data from various partitions across the worker nodes. It cannot be done on only one partition. A reduced by is also another the, the reduced by key for example it it needs uh, the re the reduction based on a particular uh, filter or the key across various worker nodes or various partitions across the worker nodes so this was all about uh, transformations and uh, we will cover a lot of like uh, uh, unit test cases in our future series in our future videos sorry uh, where we will cover each and every function that we are we are dis, uh, discussing here in details now the, se the second type of operation as we have discussed is actions so transformers uh, transformations create rdds from each other but when we want to work with the actual data set at that point action is performed thus actions are spark rdds operations that give non rdd values it's not producing another rdd it's just a final output the values of actions are stored to drivers or to the external storage system. Okay, so whatever the final result is there, it will be stored uh, to the hard disk of the worker node or it will be sent back to the driver to just uh, that operations have been visited and, the, and uh, is finished and the results are available now. So a few of the actions include like collect, count, like we are counting the number of uh, um, the data objects in, inside the, our RDD. Take is just taking a sample of uh, data from the whole set of RDD big data. And first is, uh, for example, again, taking the very first um, data in, in the whole RDD set. An action is one of the ways of sending data from executor to the driver. So you know that executors are running on the worker nodes. And once we have got the final result from this actions operation, it will the results can be sent back to the driver program. So if we are talking about this result. This result can be sent back to the driver program. Executors are agents that are responsible for executing a task, as we know, in the worker nodes. 
while the driver is a JVM process that coordinates workers and execution of the task, which is what which is uh, where the Spark context is created, and it uh, operates with cluster manager and get the things done on the worker nodes. So guys, after this Spark RDD overview, we are done with our first chapter, which is the big picture where we covered a lot of theoretical concepts about uh, big data, local versus distributed systems, Apache Hadoop, MapReduce, Apache Spark ecosystem, cluster mode overview, and Spark RDDs overview. Although we haven't uh, written a single line of code yet, but we have covered the, the, the idea or the design, um, uh, the, the reason that uh, why the Apache Spark was created when there was already a Map, Hadoop, and MapReduce. So I think this chapter was very important to give a very high level, big picture of Apache Spark internals. And then in the next chapter, in chapter two, we will start uh, installing our uh, install, uh, installing Spark in our local system and also set up our IntelliJ project so that after that we can start writing the actual code. So see you all in the next video.